You might have noticed it at your favorite restaurants, wild Pacific salmon disappearing off the menu. Unfortunately, that's not the only place salmon's vanishing. This year's B.C. fish runs are positively foul. But in the province's Strait of Georgia, our Chris Brown discovered another overlapping trend. There are suddenly plenty of other fish in the sea. In the Strait of Georgia off Vancouver Island, fishery scientists have started a five-year search to try to solve the mystery of Canada's disappearing Pacific salmon to try to understand why when other species like hake are thriving... The Strait of Georgia is now just full of these guys. The most valuable now salmon there. runs are not. We're not seeing the millions of coho and chinook that drove very important recreational fisheries. For scientists, salmon ecology is a complex puzzle. On the U.S. West Coast, many runs have completely collapsed. In B.C., the situation's only slightly better, but in the far North Pacific, in Alaska, Russia, and Japan, Many salmon runs are at or near all-time highs. The explanation may lie in the coastal waters where salmon spend their first few months of life. What we think is that we're seeing food production a little bit earlier in the ocean and it's benefiting the salmon that enter the ocean first. On BC's southwest coast, for example, there are five main species of Pacific salmon. Pink, chum, sockeye, chinook, and coho. All eat plankton and all spend some of their first year at sea in the Georgia Strait. The new thinking is a one degree increase in water temperature has effectively reduced the food supply for salmon that arrive later in the season, such as chinook and coho. That makes it harder for them to fatten up and survive their first winter. The climate change, global warming, is in essentially, is, is in, some, in, a, in a way, starving coho. That represents a huge change of thinking from the days when overfishing was seen as the main culprit. Now the number of salmon year to year seems harder to predict. It's safe to say is that we will know that they're going to be a lot more variable. Are they actually going to change to be a lot worse? I don't think we would say that yet. I don't think we have that evidence. And so the scientists will trawl the waters, studying the fish and their food, with one big question looming. If climate change really is killing Canada's prized salmon, is there anything anyone can do about it? Chris Brown, CBC News, off Nanaimo, B.C.